Welcome everyone. This is Mundan Raghavan. And this video, we are going to see the file upload option in Playwright. In general scenarios, you will be uploading the file to the websites. But when you upload the file, there will be a pop-up from the file systems, which is not from our website. So how to handle those scenarios in automation? Let's see in this video. First, we will go to our sample website where you can use some options to upload. Here you can see select images. It will allow you to select multiple images at a time. In simple, there are some scenarios you will be uploading a single file. In some scenarios, there will be option to upload multiple files. So in this video, we are going to see both of those things by using the playwright. Let's jump into our sample code. As usual, we have the boilerplate code, which is nothing but the playwright object followed by the browser object, followed by the context and then page object. By using the page object, we are going to just navigate to the same website that we have discussed now. Now we are going to use the very simple option, which is nothing but you are going to upload a single file to that a given website. First of all, you need to find the locator for the upload option. Let's go to here. Click on select images, right click inspect. Definitely it will be a type of input and it will have the type attribute as file, which means that this is the button which will help us to upload a file. So for this, I'm going to create a simple locator by using the ID upload. And here you can see the ID has been created. And I'm using the method called set input files, which will be asking us to provide the object of path which will contain the, the location of the given file. So I'm creating the paths.get, which will return the path object. And I am giving the actual location for the given file. That's all. Now we will run and execute. I'm using the keyboard shortcut Alt Shift X J so that it will directly execute and give the output. Here you can see it has been uploaded BG1 JPEG. Now we are clear that it's very simple, a very straightforward answer that you will upload by using the locator, which will match the input type and type is a file. The next option is like, sometimes you know that the uploading will be taking more time since you are uploading the huge file. It can be a zip file or it can be a huge Excel files. So in that scenario, you can change the timeout period from 30 milliseconds to anything that you want. So in order to do the, the setup options, you will be creating the object for the set input files options. Once you create the options, then you will be calling the method set timeout and you will be passing the milliseconds that you want to make a new timeout. Now I am just answering, simply I am just mocking like a 60 milliseconds will be my maximum timeout period. Then after it's the same, same option, like you will be setting input files. However, you will be sending the second parameter, which is the file options that you created here. Now with this also, we will execute. It will not make any difference. Why? Because we know that this is a very simple image, but in real time, you might be using the huge file. Let's execute again, Alt Shift X J. And here you can see BG2. So in this way, we can upload your files with some timeout period. The next option will be the another one, multiple files, which means that now we are going to upload multiple files. So in that scenario, it will be the same syntax or let's say same method set input files rather than sending a single path object by calling the paths.get, we will be passing a multiple array or let's say a array has multiple path object. Do you know that new path array? So that means that you are passing multiple path objects by calling a different objects, which means that paths.get bg2 jpeg will give the individual path object the same way for the pg1, pg2, pg3 and whatever the files you want to upload. We are making this array and this array will be passed as an input to the set input files. So now let's execute and see. And here you can see multiple file has been uploaded. So that means that we can use the set input files with the different overloaded methods. Whereas the first scenario will be like a single file without any options. And second scenario where the file name followed by the file options where you will set up the 
timeout period, you will extend the timeout basically when you upload the a huge files. And third overloaded method, which is for a set of, uh, let's say the array of multiple options or multiple files, actually to be precise, multiple files in an array format, which will be giving the multiple path objects. So that you will be uploading the multiple files at the same time. So this is very simple in Playwright so that we can use the single method and using the same locator, we can use it. And one point we noted is like, when you use the locator, it should be a type of, or it should have the tag as input and the type should be the file so that we can consider that one for the file uploading option. So this is all about the file uploading in your Playwright. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.